continuing with the tradition we have here at Pixelogic of always making great advances in technology with each and every release of ZBrush. It's safe to say that ZBrush 3.5 Release 3 is no exception. Over the next few minutes, we'll review just a few of the many additions and enhancements which have been added to this powerful update. Once you've had a chance to take Release 3 of ZBrush 3.5 for a spin, you'll better understand the commitment we have here at Pixelogic for creating tools and technologies that truly empower artists around the world. Having powerful tools like these is important to any project, but being able to access those tools quickly and in a workflow-friendly way can be just as important. With each update of ZBrush, we are constantly adding powerful new brushes, and we want to make sure that you can access those brushes without wasting any precious time or creativity. This is why you can access the brush pop-up and bring it to your cursor at any point by simply pressing the letter B. And now you can access all the brushes in that pop-up alphabetically. So while working, if you wanted to switch to the medium polish brush, all you would need to do is press the letter M and then P while inside the brush pop-up. In addition to quick access to any of the brushes, new modifiers have been added that take already powerful brushes to a whole new level of intelligence. And I say intelligence because these new features not only make brushes more powerful, but help each brush understand the flow of your mesh. And if what you need is the ability to create things like scales or slanted roof tiles, well, there's a new modifier for that too. This new tilt feature allows you to take essentially any brush stroke and lie it down along the surface, giving you the ability to create endless varieties of new surface details. At Pixelogic, we understand the speed at which imagination moves, and we strive to provide artists with an environment that allows them to explore new ideas the moment they bubble to the surface. The new pen brushes with their unique and fluid feel let you quickly sketch out ideas which can then be used as reference for further sculpting. Or perhaps you'll just find yourself exploring different works of art with these powerful brushes. Because of the new intelligence built into the brush controls, artists have a greater level of control over creating both organic and hard surface models. And a whole new set of features like group loops and poly groups from poly paint give you an added control over the flow of your topology. You can now just simply paint where you want poly groups to exist on your mesh. ZBrush can recognize different areas of poly painting, material information, and even different areas of masking, and convert those into poly groups with just a single click. The borders between poly groups can then be refined even further by clicking the Group Loops button. This will add in edge loops that give you crisp regions between each poly group. Now I've already mentioned a new level of intelligence being added to the brushes within ZBrush. But what if there was a single brush type that would allow you to sculpt rounded surfaces to the smooth look of a car's finish, while at the same time allowing you to sculpt precise, hard edges? The control you get from the new polish brushes will allow you to do just that. Creating vehicles and other complex forms can be achieved by using the different pressure levels of the polish brush. By pressing lightly on the surface, you can round and smooth your mesh. By pressing slightly harder, you can flatten and cut surfaces creating razor sharp edges. The new chrome materials in the material pop up will help you refine your surface using the polish brushes to a perfect finish.
Now that you can create and refine polygroups so easily, it's important to be able to work with each polygroup independently of one another. With the new Auto Masking by Group Enable, you can simply click on the group you want to work on. This allows you to move, sculpt, paint, smooth and deform that group without disturbing the other groups around it. Being able to work on a specific poly group this way allows you to quickly pull out some hard surface features or smooth in some nice bevels. Just like any of the other brushes, the polish brush can also be used for painting, creating a very unique look along your surface. You can also take advantage of these powerful enhancements while working with Z-Spheres. Each Z-sphere that you sketch along the surface will have unique group information. This can then be used to your benefit later on in the modeling process. With powerful features like polish and borders active in the unified skin pulldown, you can produce a clean and highly organized mesh from your Z-sphere creations. At any point you can easily hide portions of Z-spheres from your model and quickly create new polygroups from those Z-spheres. With the powerful new enhancements to the unified skin generation, coupled with the ability to adjust the polish level, you can quickly create clean, sculptable meshes from your Z-spheres. With the benefit of having all your groups and clean borders generated along with it, Again, with the new polish brushes, you can quickly sculpt any portion of your mesh into a highly smooth surface with complex transitions from soft rounded shapes into hard edges and creases. It truly is empowering to be able to sculpt on a mesh that feels as if it were made out of something as hard as steel, and in the very same stroke, transition into something that feels like soft clay. Because polygroups and clean border regions can be set up at any stage in the modeling process, you can quickly paint just the regions of the model that you want by simply activating the Mask by Group feature. While working, you can hide many of your different polygroups. This allows you to apply a wide range of deformations to the visible polygroups. This gives you the ability to create very unique and specialized details which would otherwise be impossible to sculpt in by hand. One quick look at the subtool palette here in version R3 and you'll notice a new set of icons associated with each subtool. These allow you to set new volume types. You can set each tool to either be additive, subtractive, or clipping volume type. You can then perform a remesh all operation on all the visible subtools to create a completely new and complex mesh. Creating new shapes to sculpt with can also be achieved with the new mirror and weld feature. Simply align your mesh along any of the three axes grids, which can be turned off and on for better positioning. You can then quickly mirror and weld parts of your model together in interesting new ways. You can do a mirror and weld operation along any of the three axes. Simply choose the axes you want, and then press mirror and weld.
as we continue to move forward with the development of innovative new tools, we look forward to empowering the artist in each and every one of you.